I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Wright Patterson Mahjong. This is a great way to practice decision making and steady the hands in the green book. If you're new to the version, look for a link below the video so that you can learn how to play and order this book for yourself. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. For this game of solitaire, let's do fifth player betting. If you're so inclined, you can be the fifth player. The rules are found on page 15 of the green book. For the video, this is how it'll work. At the end of the Charleston, pause the video, look at everybody's hand and decide which player you think has the best chance to win. Write in the comment section below the video, east, south, west, or north, and include a note as to why you think they have the best chance to win. At the end of the video, we'll look at the consensus and talk about it. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players two, three, and four will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand, see if we can identify a strength and maybe a category to play. Let's look and see what we can do for player one. We have mixed suits. Let's see if there are some patterns here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, six, seven, two, three, five. We have little numbers and big numbers. Five bams, five cracks, one wind. I wonder if we could play double numbers. Six, seven, six, seven, or BAMs. Or cracks. Six, seven, six, seven, or cracks, because that's where our multiple is. Let's give up those three and see what happens. And now we can look and see what we can do for South. Let me read double numbers to you first. Double numbers is a number hand found on page 22, number 38. Two pungs of the same number in two suits with a pair of Windsor dragons. So six, seven, six, seven with East. Three bams, three cracks, four dots, a wind and a dragon. That's not a wind, those are two dragons. So here we have five, five, six, six, seven, eight. I'm thinking dots with dragons. We do have five, six, and five. There is a bit of a pattern there. Let's give up one of the fives. So we're not passing two twos. Oh, we need a replacement tile. Maybe that'll help. Three. No, that's not a help. But maybe we could give up a three and keep the five. Let's see what we can do for west. North and south, look at that. We should play a hand of honors north and south pair pung let's pass one of each suit and play a hand of honors here you really don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards flower we've got mostly dots 
Let's play dots with winds and dragons. You really don't have to pick a hand, but we do have a tiny potential for a consecutive run there. I wouldn't pick a hand though. We can pass those three. So we're now gonna do the Charleston. East will pass to south, south to west, west to north, and then north to east. Cracks, we got cracks. We still have the potential for six, seven. We even got the six, six, seven, six, seven. We have tiles to pass, so we don't have to commit to that yet. We're kind of in between cracks or double numbers. We got a five and a two. Two, five, seven. Lots of dots with a pair. Five, seven. We don't have any multiples, so I think I would break up the fives and focus on dots. Dots with dragons. We could maybe play dragon lineup or dazzle. So we're kind of in between a sequence or a pair, but we'll just gather dots and not worry about which hand to play. Here we wanted honors and terminals. Just gather wins, dragons, and ones and nines. We could pass one of each suit here. We're just gonna gather wins, dragons, ones, and nines. We got a dot. We're gathering here too. Gathering dots, gathering honors. Gathering dots, gathering cracks. We went right now, we're going to do across. East and west, and then north and south. Oh, we got a crack. And we have all the sevens. The multiples with the seven crack, not the seven bam though. I think I would give that up. And because we have a pair and a pung, I think I would gather all cracks. We have one more pass. I think I would give up on double numbers and gather cracks. because we only have two multiples. You need four pungs and a pair. We only have one multiple with the seven and then a pair with the six. So it's pretty light. If I had another pung with the six or the seven bam, or maybe even a pair of wins or dragons, I might go for double numbers, but we would have to throw all these away here. Either way, we're gonna have discards. There's a little more flexibility with one suit as opposed to sticking to one hand with six, seven. Let's just see what happens. We wanted dots here. We did get a multiple, five, seven, five. Let's discard the four bam. Here we wanted winds, dragons, and terminals. Here we wanted dots. So we have tiles we can pass for the last pass. East passes up to north, north to west, west to south, and then south to east. We got a crack, six, seven. Look at that, the six came in, but we started breaking those up anyway. I think we can make one suit work here. Maybe Pung Chow, sequence hand. Four Pungs or Chows in a pair in one suit. That's Pung Chow. Sequence hands are found on page 18. Number 15 is Pung Chow. Last tile must be drawn. We got a dot and we picked up that five. I think I would just discard those and collect dots. We wanted honors here. We have four discard for a hands of honors. We picked up a dot 
and we have two discards. Probably I would discard this red dragon and focus on maybe news. So we're done with the Charleston. Let me show you what I'm thinking here. One suit, maybe Peng Chao, five discards if that's the case. Here, focused on dots. We have one pair. We could play either Dazzle or Dragon Lineup. Dragon Lineup would be the sequence hand, number 11 on page 18. Sequence of one to nine in one suit with one simple paired. Red, white, and green dragon and any dragon paired. We have four discards, including a pair. Here, I would play a hand of honors, maybe trade wins or termination. We're too far to really make a decision at this point, but we've got the pair and a pung. We could maybe even play heavenly twins. Those are all gonna be on pages 25 and 26. It's too soon to commit though. So I would wait till I run out of these discards. Here, I think I would play a one suit with wins maybe uh, razzle five pairs with news razzle is on page 17 number six five pairs in one suit with news so this is when you look at everybody's hand and decide which player you think might win make sure that when you write your guess to comment as to why you think they have the greatest potential to win east south west north player one two three four i'm going to place my bet using this i will start by discarding a two bam i'm going to use this to mark whose turn it is West, we'll keep it. If you're playing one suit with dragons, let's say, keep wins too, because there are hands that use wins, dragons, and one suit. Let's discard the eight bam. Four crack. Maybe we could fall back on cracks. Let's discard the five bam. Oh, dragon, we'll keep it. Let's discard three bam. Oh, the six came in six seven six seven let's get rid of the four bam flower seven bam not ready for that double number I don't think I would do it anyway we have way too many cracks to get rid of Let's draw seven bam. For sure the double number hand won't work now. There's only four of every tile. Five crack. This is concealed. Flower, we'll keep that. one dot let's go ahead and get rid of the seven bam nobody wants bams east let's keep it and discard five bam red dragon that's an honor Winds, Dragons, Terminals. We can discard this two bam. 
one crack. Let's get rid of the six bam. Four crack, that would be a keeper. Let's discard six bam. Nine bam. Okay, we got three cracks to get rid of here. We need to pair up these honors. Six dot. Let's just get rid of these cracks. Or no, let's get rid of the six dot. Because we could still maybe play cracks with honors. If we get a sequence and get another wind, we could play a hand called repression, which is a sequence hand. But we're too far from that to really focus there. It's a slight potential. That hand is number 12 on page 18. Sequence of eight with three pairs of winds or three pairs of dragons. One crack. This is concealed. Two dot, let's get rid of the six bam. Five bam. There's a flower and a dragon. Looking good for a hand of honors there. Let's go ahead and commit and discard the four crack. West. Okay, now we'll get rid of this one crack. And we just got through the second wall. It will be east turn. And at this point everybody should know what category they're playing here we're playing probably Peng Chao sequence hand here probably maybe a pair hand or a sequence hand with dots one or the other we have only one pair though so we don't have to commit yet here hand of honors I'm thinking heavenly twins or trade wins we have discards, so we don't have to pick a hand yet, but I think um, Heavenly Twins or Trade Wins might work for that player. Trade Wins is number 70 on page 26. Four pungs of Winds and Dragons and a pair of Terminals. We have a long way to go, though. We need to pair up. And then up here, dots with honors. They have two pair, so maybe Razzle or Betty. Betty is number eight on page 17. Three pairs of simples. We have two pair. We'd have to throw away the one. And then news with the dragons and then any honor paired. Two dot. These are concealed. Oh, eight dot. That's nice. Let's get rid of the five crack. Two bam. Nobody wants bams. Four dot. That's a keeper. Now we have to decide. Let's get rid of the one dot because we could play Betty. We only need one more pair, an east, a south, and a green. East, we paired up. Let's get rid of the two dot. This is concealed. Three crack. Concealed. Oh, white dragon, they paired up. Pair, pair, pung. Now we could pung these. If they go down, we could play, maybe play trade wins. Let's throw the six crack. We need to pair up more though. This is concealed. One dot. Oh, we discarded that. Might as well let it go. 
Focus on Betty. Green Dragon. Let's discard the one dot. Four Bam. Two Crack. Three Bam. Nine Bam. That's the second one out. That'll probably be a good discard. Six crack, nine dot. We got a pair in there. Let's keep that nine for just a little bit and throw the eight crack. So at this point, we have one, two, three, four pair. We may be able to play Heavenly Twins. Seven pairs of honors and terminals. That's number 76 on page 26. And you can use Kongs but it's concealed. One crack. One bam. One dot. I'm kind of surprised they got that because there's two, three out. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get rid of the five crack. They might be able to play Dragon Lineup or News Lineup. Let's see. Dragon Lineup uses a pair of simples, so we'd only have to throw away one. I'm kind of thinking we might discard the, dra uh, the wins next. We'll see. We don't have to decide yet. Three BAM. Eight crack. This is concealed. Nine dot. Up here, this is concealed. I would not claim that. I'd rather play Heavenly Twins or Trade Wins for a double limit. Technically, they could claim it for maybe Heavenly Hash, which is a single limit hand. But that's, that would be a downgrade from their options. Heavenly Hash is number 61 on page 25. Four Pungs and a pair of Honors and Terminals. They are set for it, though. They could Pung, 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 and be ready on a pair. And they would get really nice score, too. There's still more time, though. So I would let it go. If another discard goes down, I might reconsider. Let's draw. Nine crack. Ah, oh, nine bam. I'm kind of glad I didn't do that. Now we got a pair. One, two, three, four, five. We're one away from Heavenly Twins. Double limit hand. We'll see if that was the way to go. Nine crack. Drawing for north. Okay, we're looking good for Betty here. Pair, pair, three, four, six, seven. There's six dot out. Let's throw the six dot. We want to give ourselves the greatest potential to pair up. We need an east and a south to fill in seven odd honors. One bam. Four dot. Okay, we've got a sequence going here. One, we do have some redundancy there. Let's get rid of the east and draw. Four dot. Eight bam. Two bam. Three dot. Okay, let's discard this west. At this point, they have one, two, three pair 
I'm thinking either Dazzle, which is red, white, and green dragon with five pair, or Peng Chao and sacrifice the dragons. Three dot. This is concealed. All these are concealed. Well, not this one. This one we could Peng. One bam. They would have to downgrade to Heavenly Hash, though. One bam. Three bam. Four bam. Five bam. It's this player's turn. We just got through the third while we're now going into the end game. Everybody should know what hand they're playing now and decide whether they want to push to win or fold and play defense. Here, probably one suit, Peng Chao. Same here, or Dazzle with dragons, but they have a gap. No white dragon and no multiple with the dragon. You have to have red, white, and green dragon and one dragon paired. Here, I'm thinking Heavenly Twins or Heavenly Hash. And I may downgrade to Heavenly Hash because we're in the end game now. Here, I'm thinking Betty. Three pairs of simples with seven odd honors and one honor paired. Oh, they finally got a crack. Let's discard the green dragon. Five crack. Eight crack. Seven dot. Okay, now they have a pair. They have their three pair here. We need an east and a south. Let's discard three dot. So they're one away from Betty. Red dragon. Maybe we could have them play Valentine. Let's have them discard east. Valentine is six pairs of cracks with a pair of red dragons. That's number three on page 17. East, nobody can take. Eight bam. Six bam. Four crack. They're not ready for it here. Seven crack. Let's discard the east. Probably here. You can't use a Kong. In order to leverage that, I would probably switch them to Peng Chao. There's some work to be done there, but they have some picks left in them. Let's draw. Oh, six dot. Okay, same thing here. I would get rid of the dragons. Red dragon. Switch them to Peng Chao. Four dot. Two dot. Four bam. Nine crack. Seven bam. Eight bam. Four crack. Okay, very nice. They're all in one suit now. If they can discard this red dragon. I don't think they could make a hand work though. They've got, they're one away from Peng Chao. One, two, three, two, three, four, four, five, six potential, six, seven, eight potential Peng there. Or they could do a P 
pair, pair up here, discard here. They're really one away from ready on Peng Chao. Let's throw the green dragon. It's been thrown. They're not at a ready place. Flower. Nine crack, that's been discarded. Nine dot. Let's discard four dot. Five dot. Last tile right here. North. Okay, five dot nobody wanted. Let's go ahead and discard that. Okay, that would be a wall game. Nobody won. Nobody won. And let's see, who did you bet on? I bet on North. They had a ways to go. They were two away, or one away from ready. They needed an east and a south. Actually, I'll put this up here. And then this player was, I think, probably the closest to a win between this player and this player. For a wall game, each player puts a blue chip on the wall for the next winner. I think what affected this game is the fact that nobody wanted BAMs. Everybody here was collecting dots, one here, and then this player kind of had an open road for cracks, and they got pretty close here. They got one away from a ready hand on Peng Chao, but these dots were a challenge, and the winds and dragons were being held, so this player had a hard time with that as well. Fifth player betting adds an interesting element to the game. And there are some strategies that you should consider when betting on which player you think will win. One of the things I look at is how many discards does a player have to their potentially winning hand? And are they playing an easy hand or a difficult hand? What are the things that you consider when you play fifth player betting? Write them in the comments section below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Wright Patterson Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.